We learned about the gross profit margin in our previous lesson. Now we need to know about the net profit margin. And the reason is the net profit margin is going to be the ultimate figure of profit for the period. So to calculate it, we take our net profit and divide it by sales. So in this case, it'll be 52,500 divided by 350,000, which equals a net profit margin of 15%. What does that mean? It means as a dollar of sales comes into our income statement, let's uh, make an assumption that 55 cents of that is cost of goods sold, which results in a gross profit of 45 cents on each sale. Other expenses, so all our wages, insurance, um, rent and so on, came out to 30 cents of every sales dollar. And what that left for us at the end, it was 15 cents of net profit. So it's the part at the end that remains in profit once all our cost of goods sold and expenses have been deducted. So to explain what it means, we would say for every dollar the firm generated in sales, an overall net profit of 15 cents is earned. Looking at that as a graph, if we were to represent each sales dollar as a, a bar, we could say, well, 55 cents of every dollar goes on the cost of goods sold, so buying the stuff and getting it ready for sale. 30 cents of every sales dollar went and covered our other expenses. What that must mean is this little bit that's left at the end, that's ours to keep, so we've earned that, and that's uh, the bit that's left over, and that's referred to as our net profit. So a net profit percentage of 15% uh, percent works out at 15 cents of net profit in every sales dollar. Uh, looking at interpreting the trend, if it went from 15%, so it came out with 15 cents of every sales dollar in net profit, and that went down to 6%, that's a bad trend. That means for every dollar of sales, um, that must mean if, assuming gross profit stayed the same, other expenses went up to 54 cents in every sales dollar, and that left only 6 cents for us at the end of the period. That's a bad trend because profitability-wise, we're uh, having lower profitability, we're earning less net profit on each sale. If the net profit margin went from 15 to 22%, that must be a good trend because what it means is take our gross profit of 60 cents of every sales dollar. Well, now we're going to end up with 22 cents in net profit at the end. And it's all to do with our other expenses. So in each of those examples, we've kept the gross profit the same. We've just managed to do a better job of lowering our other expenses from 54 cents in every sales dollar to 45 to 38. And that subsequently left us with more net profit to keep from 6 cents to 15 cents to 22 cents. So that's a good trend as the firm is earning more net profit on each sale. Looking at two businesses and how to compare them. So here's a breakdown of every dollar. We can see business A only has cost of goods sold of 52.8%, whereas business B has 62.5. So looking at that graph, business A does a better job of buying stock and selling it at a profit than business B does. They're either got a bigger markup or they're buying cheaper stock. However, what we want to look at is our other expenses because if we just took out that bar and left it there, that would represent our gross uh, profit margin would be the difference here. So we figure that out in our last lesson. So business A clearly has a bigger gross profit margin. But we don't take home gross profit, we finish with a net profit. So looking at other expenses, we can see business A has a lot of other expenses for every sales dollar. 37.8 cents uh, of each dollar goes on other expenses, whereas for business B, they've got much better expense control. Only 20.3 cents in every sales dollar is another expense. And that leaves the bit at the end. So you can see the net profit at the end is actually the product of not only our other expenses, but also our cost of goods sold. So business B has actually got almost double the net profit margin of business A. So for every sales dollar that comes in, a net profit of 17 cents is earned. And that's all because they've got much better expense control. We can see their expenses are only 20 cents in every sales dollar. And for business A, they're 37. And that more than makes up for their bad performance in buying stock and it costing 62 cents and a half cents in every sales dollar. Whereas business A does a better job of buying stock and selling it and earning a gross profit that is a bit higher. How can we improve it? So to improve it, the first way is to go back to our gross profit margin and we said, how can we make that better? Well, if it was $15,000 of net profit last year on sales of 100, that's 15%. The first way is to make gross profit go up and there's two ways. We can either make sales go up like so, that would flow all the way through and change a couple of other numbers and we'd end up with a net profit of 25,000 on sales of 110 which is a net profit margin of 22.7. However, maybe we can't sell more, so we just managed to buy and source cheaper goods. 
and this time we lower our cost of goods sold to 50,000. Assuming we sold all the, the same amount uh, in terms of revenue, revenue stayed the same, that would flow through to a higher gross profit. Assume other expenses stayed the same and our net profit would be 25,000. So plugging in our numbers, we'd actually earn $25,000 in net profit on sales of 100, which is a net profit margin of 25%. So the first way to improve net profit margin is by making your gross profit margin better. The second way is to use better expense control. So looking at the uh, last year, we earned a net profit of 15%. Whereas what we can do, if we can't change how we buy and sell stock, maybe we can fix the other expenses. So maybe we can get those down from 25 to 15. Uh, we can't sell any more goods. We can't buy goods for cheaper. So our gross profit will stay the same at 40. But because we've lowered our other expenses, that'll end up with our net profit going up to 25,000. And our sales are still 100, so that'll flow through to a net profit margin of 25%, which is a big increase from the year before. So the two ways to improve it are the net profit margin, where to improve our gross profit, and also to uh, lower our other expenses. And they're the two ways to run a business. We can take care of how we sell goods, or we can take care of how we are uh, run our business on a daily basis or we can be very good at both.